Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan, Case Vesta 4. This is day two from the Nippon Butokan. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. Because we have a featherweight. Uh, this is a fight between Shuhei Kumura and Takahiro. So both of them either uh, have uh, some good records uh, in the Super Bantam class, but uh, this one, uh, they've come into the featherweight. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> So 57.5 kg is, is this great. Fast already. Oh yeah. Too heavy. Oh, nice start. Oh, real oh, kick. The end. Missed that one, but the back end there from Kamura. So for Takahiro, this is a, he hasn't fought for about a year, so this was a kind of a break there. Oh, yeah. 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 You kind of see uh, the level of these two uh, fighters here and you think, yeah, okay, this is going to be a long fight. I don't know, it's just the feeling I get um, because they're both so well-rounded, they're so experienced, they've got just like really like calm, calmness over them. Yeah, yeah, they, they seem to know what they're doing. And oh, this is the way they move. And they're really trained, like wow. they're really fit and strong. Yeah. And you can just tell that they can take the punishment, but they can also dash it out. So I guess uh, this is going to be a really technical fight, mm. unless something super unexpected happens. Well, we're, as an audience, we always like that. So, again, like you said many times, Nick, anything can happen. Right? Oh, yeah. But at this kind of level of fighting, it's like it doesn't happen in the first round, if it happens. It's going to take a little bit longer. They're going to need a little bit more tired, a little bit more... Like, the attention span, the longer the fight goes on. It's like mentally, who's got the, the better focus and stuff like that. It's got great defense, right? So, I mean, they're not hurting each other here. They're just like, it's almost like hitting a big bag. But Kimura didn't put in those nice kicks there. Oh, he's got fantastic kicks. Wow, yeah, and, and his legs go straight up to Takahiro's like... Oh, that was dangerous. Right there. Oh, they, nice call, they call him the shooting star, and that was like, uh, definitely was rising there in, in the air. Wow. Well, you know, uh, Takahiro has been doing Muay Thai since he's six years old. He has three different Muay Thai belts in his career. And that's a little bit different from K1 rules. Actually, it's a lot different. So the ad adaptiveness to coming into the K1 is very uh, interesting to watch. Yeah, I guess those traits sort of kind of linger on. If you're karate background or Muay Thai background, they can. Oh, yeah, they always, yeah. Linger. yeah they always linger. Which I think is the beauty of it. Yeah, because you're from a karate background, yeah. right? So that is always going to be that yeah. part of you, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the kicking style from karate is very different from uh, Muay Thai or from kickboxing. Um, but um, you can also use that to your advantage. Because the angles that the kicks come from from karate is not the same as the, youth, as the kickboxing mm. used. Mm. So I had a lot of success with low kicks and stuff. Right, right. So Takahiro, Takahiro with his uh, Muay Thai background, he would uh, bring what to the game? Uh, no, it's just more of a uh, how they kick, you know, and a, a bit of the fighting stance and everything. But, so Kumura is doing something really nice here in this fight. That's he's putting a lot of pressure on him and like kicking him all over the place. So Takahiro never really found his groove uh, in the first round. No, I, I kind of noticed that. Was but don't be fooled. Yeah. Don't be fooled by that. Because <laughs> Muay Thai in right. the first round is always super slow. Okay, okay. Uh, it's because of the betting, the gambling that's going on. Oh, the, <laughs> and it happens every weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first round is always very different from Muay Thai. Second round is like harder. Let's see. Well, you see? Kumura starts off there. He comes yeah. up harder in this yeah. round. Wow, he... Nice. Nice. Oh, 
He's got some cool kicks and cool like attitude with it. Great defense. Can the mat get really like uh, slippery at times? It's a good question. Yeah. You see all those sponsor logos that are painted on the mat. <laughs> yeah. They actually are slippery. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that actually hurt him. Right. He's trying to tell him no, it didn't. Yeah. But it oh, did. <laughs> so the Robin Hood was like, "Hey, I'm cool. I'm okay with this." But deep down, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, not that deep down. Quite close to the skin. Ooh, that's nice. a big backhand. Oh, that was a sneaky shot there. See again, he said it didn't hit me, but I guarantee yeah, yeah. it hit him. <laughs> that was a really cool shot. You see more movements of Kuzuna, but you said, like you said, Takahiro, he's, he's putting in those punches. Yeah. The oh, cool body shot. I like that. Oh, come on, finish the combination, not single shot. He's hurting Kumura here, actually. Oh, big, big kick to the head. I was denying the pain there. <laughs> oh, nice one. That's dangerous. I told you he was going to come up in the second round, be way more aggressive. He definitely found his groove in this round. Mm. I like the way they got good ring control. Yes, yes, they got the interview. Out of control, like they, they really got a hold of it. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Or? No, I said ring control. So you see, it's always a struggle to try and see how much of the middle of the ring you can control. Mm. Because if you're in the middle of the ring and you get your opponent to move around you, mm. then he's going to spend more energy doing right. that. Right. And so these two actually, they don't move a lot. And they're not actually putting pressure or trying to force the opponent to move very much. So they're very efficient, that's what I'm trying to say. Energy efficient. Mm. Round. That, that one was almost a Takahiro round because yeah. he, he was showing us uh, something uh, switched definitely there. As you say, like in your try, it's hard to say what happens. I would give that round to Takahiro for sure. Mm. The third round here with this. Uh, the weight. Oh, that's some nice kicks there. I love the way they just like slip it in the counter while they're like not even standing straight on their own feet. <laughs> but still fighting back. Yeah. <laughs> already yeah, higher yeah. than in the first round. <laughs> Ooh, the kicks, both of them. What happened? I'm not sure what happened. Mm. Oh, man. Oi! Oh. Actually, he's taking a stance now. Yeah. He's not going to be moving around much in this round. Yeah, they have too much static here.
interesting how his change strategy is so drastically in the third round, and it's really working well for him. This is cool, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's really working for him. Could be a 29-29 mm. or 30-29, maybe 30-28, one of those things. It's hard to say. Depends on what the judges look for. I would say round one and two is right. One, one and three. Mm. Yeah. アパクムラ、ジャッジ、ミスタニ、サンジュペイ、ジャッジ、アパクムラ、以上、判定3対0にしまして、勝者、アパクムラ、クムラ、シュー、シュー、シュー、シュー、シュー、シュー、シュー、